now we have another very dynamic doctor, Dr. Ipan Koshi, MBBS, MS, FRCS, DNB, MBA. He's the HOD of Plastic and Craniofacial and Aesthetic Surgery in New York Hospital, Chennai. <coughs> he has developed his own flap for abdominal wall reconstruction and, and also has over 100 presentations in UK, India, US, Spain, France and Australia. He's also run over 25 marathons. Let's please welcome Dr. Ipan Koshi for his presentation on Divinity through DXN. Good morning, DXN. Most respected Dr. Lim, Professor Vasipalaya, Dr. Retna, and the other dignitaries. Um, this talk is really uh, a sharing of my experience. I will start off with my running career, which is the sharing of my personal experience with DXN. Uh, I've been a runner all my life, ever since high school, and uh, switched on to marathons in my 20s. And during my MBBS, uh, I've done many marathons, and I'm also a cyclist. I've cycled through most of South India, um, uh, from cities, Pondicherry, Hubli, Goa, all of Kerala, through the Western Ghats, and, and this is a part of my hobby, and how I spend my weekends. Two of my highlights of my running careers were the Dublin Marathon. I was working in England then. Dublin is the capital of Ireland, which I did in 1994 in four hours, eight minutes. I just want to share my experience with you. It was a cold morning in Dublin where you, the starting point is next to the river Liffey. It's very cold for an Indian. And they are used to the cold, but for us, 12 degrees is fairly cold. And um, um, the, the marathon is over 42 kilometers. The last five kilometers uh, is on a, in the Phoenix Park, it's a Dublin 20 area, um, and it's a uphill, five is uphill. So we did the marathon in the morning, and me and a few friends were sitting in the uh, pub and uh, looking at our own run in the BBC News that evening. And they were interviewing the, came, the, the boy who came first. He was an African student in London, and um, I think it was Nigerian, I'm not sure. Nigerian, I think. So he was asked, how did you feel about the Phoenix Park run in the last five kilometers? So he said, it was okay. No, I mean, uh, wasn't it uphill? Wasn't it very tiring? Oh, was it uphill? He's asking. So he had a health beyond, a health beyond compare, and which I'm wondering whether he was on DXN. Anyway. The other highlight was the London Marathon, which is 4 hours, 22 minutes. All, I'm in the first thousand you come you know, in 4 hours. The world record is around 2 hours, 10 minutes. I was introduced to DXN and, and the products in July of this year. Um, over the last 10 years, I run only 10 kilometers because when I run more than 10 kilometers, I get tendonitis of my right, of my right foot. So I switch to 10 kilometers. After 10 kilometers, I don't have the tendonitis. I have very minimal tendonitis, but I can keep walking normally. Patients don't ask you, doctor, what happened to you? My average competitive time was 64 minutes, which is fairly good for a veteran. I'm 53 years old. After two months of taking spirulina, RG, and GL, my timings improved by three minutes. Nobody, nobody in the age after 50 can improve three minutes just like that. I can attribute this only to spirulina, RG, and GL. And more importantly, my tendonitis disappeared. I run 10K and I wake normally. <laughs> Otherwise, limping was part of my life after a run. I did the Chennai Wipro Marathon three weeks ago. It was on December 7th. There were 14,000 runners. I'll show you a photograph of mine. It was in 61 minutes, 17 seconds. I was sixth in the veteran category and 350th overall in the 10 kilometers out of 14,000 runners. The, the Goa Marathon, last year my time was 65 minutes. This was done seven days ago. On, the, on December 14th, Sunday before last. There are two hills you climb in Goa Marathon. So your timing is always a bit lower than the others. This year, I brought my 65 minutes to 62.40. That is me, the Chennai Marathon. That's the Napier Bridge and the Marine Drive in Chennai just before the start of the run. That's early morning on December 7th. And that is me finishing about 20 meters to the finish point. I'm finishing three minutes more than my usual timings in the last 10 years. That's me just after the Goa, Goa 10, 10 k run. This is just sharing my experience. I want you all to run. Running is also divine, just like the DSN products. Yeah. 
let me just move on to my uh, my professional career just to share with you again it is not uh, self uh, propagating myself or anything but i would uh, like to say i spent 8 years in england after my pg in uh, in cmc valor i published 22 articles of my own most of them were original thoughts in different aspects of plastic surgery and including two lead articles lead articles means a lead article is the first article of the journal and that the editor has said is the best article of that issue so i have found myself in two lead articles i have actually devised my own flap for abdominal wall reconstruction and my own technique of gynecomastia which many follow all over the world now as a scarless technique of gynecomastia the, it, this is not the forum maybe yeah to show those uh, pictures but however <coughs> yeah and then i was also chosen uh, by the interview panel in west london for the craniofacial and aesthetic fellowship in chelsea and i was the first non british candidate to have ever done that post and nobody has and, our, and following me also has all been british people who done the post after my stint in england i spent 6 years in almana hospital in dammam saudi arabia as the chief of plastic surgery in this private hospital after 2 years there i was appointed as the chairman of the cme program the reason why i'm saying this i want to uh, share one point with you um the chairman of the cme program uh, means i have i have to conduct a cme program every month and the doctors have to attend that to get points and only if you get points can you renew your license in saudi arabia this is an american system they follow in saudi arabia so i choose the topics so very often i bring in topics other than medicine so one of my topics was alternative medicine so we had this german lady talking on homeopathy but she also spoke a little bit on allopathy and all those things on uh, ayurveda and all those things so um, uh, during question time the uh, saudi professors asked ayurveda what is this some greens and roots and leaves so as a chairman i get the last say always so i got up and i said my dear friends ayurveda existed before homeopathy ayurveda existed thousands of years before allopathy if something is wrong if something is not good it cannot last only a thing that is good can last that is also the dxn will last forever because it is good it cannot fail because it is natural my current post is in myot hospital in chennai it is actually a hospital which sees one of the highest medical tourism in india we see patients from all over india and from 63 countries mostly every country in africa and most uh, most of middle east too and a few european patients too i became a dxn member after taking dxn for 3 months i became a member in september 2014 and started prescribing to my patients i have just shared with you a few of my patients of my recent patients this is a young girl from calcutta father and mother advocates she has a cleft lip and a cleft palate it's a very wide cleft lip and this as being a craniofacial surgeon this is one of my specialities now this operation normally should be done before the child starts talking that is a cleft lip should be ideally done at 3 months of age there is no dearth of doctors in calcutta so they have gone to many eminent plastic surgeons in, Cal in calcutta but they said come again next month come again next month because this child also had a spinal problem her spinal cord was outside and she was fail failing to thrive her weight was low and so the doctors were scared to operate on her she went on for one and a half years when she came to chennai to me and she says doctor none of the calcutta doctors are operating we have come to you for an advice so this was in september so i told them the reason why they are not operating is because the result will not be good when there is no substance when there is no protoplasm the muscle has to be repaired but there is no muscle so the child has to be built up first will you please listen to me and give her what i say for one month okay doctor sit give her spirulina for one month and come back to me after one month see doctor we have taken leave my grandmother also my the, my mother also has come the child's grandmother is here we have all planned this together i said you have come all the way from calcutta you have bypassed hundred surgeons to come to me you have to listen to me to get a good result so the child child came back after one month of spirulina and they would open the capsule put it in rice inside the bowl and give it to her the mother really did and this is after one month of spirulina the child had built up and now i am ready to operate on her and this is the result i got which side was a cleft lip
which side was the cleft lip? I've forgotten myself. This is a world-class result, but it is not my experience alone. It is the built-up I got from spirulina. There wasn't muscle mass. Within one month, I got it. The child had tried. What more can I say? What more can I say? This is a lady who came to me again in September. She is from Bangalore. She runs two schools in Bangalore, and she's based in Abu Dhabi, where she also runs a school. She looks very well fed, but why is she having a, a, a walking stick? She goes on wheelchair only to the uh, plane, and all her three schools are maintained over the phone or the mail. And she's a very brilliant lady. She looks well fed, but actually she has malnutrition. She is overweight. Her cells are tired. She can't walk. Only her brain is functioning. We don't know for how long. So, again, look at her. That is what she came to me. Take this abdomen off for me. I want to walk. So I put her on spirulina, RG and GL. I said, you take at least for two weeks. Then we'll do the operation. And then I want you to take it forever. Okay, doctor. I believe you. I listen to you. So I did the, that is the, her on the table. That is the operation done. And by then, now she's three weeks on RG, GL and spirulina. She has come to me for suture removal on the 10th post-op day. My OPD is on the first floor. She didn't take the lift to show me. Her walking stick is gone. She climbed the stairs and came. <laughs> Normally, after an abdominoplasty of this nature, on the 10th day, a normal person also will be tired. Even if it is a normal, healthy man, he will take the lift. But this lady wanted to show me. Doctor, that was her way of saying thank you. Doctor, I didn't take the lift. I came up the stairs. My walking stick is gone. See, she is still sweating from walking up the lift. I took the photo immediately as she came into my OPD. She is still sweating. So, what more? There is, this picture says everything. This is a lady from, uh, she's from Rwanda. A house, a house mother, she's a mother of five. She had a tumor of her mandible and uh, this has been growing for seven years. They were waiting for a, doc a visiting surgeon to come to Rwanda, but the doctor never came. The doctor came after seven years and said, no, 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 you go to some other place, I will not operate. So that's a tumor of the mandible. And uh, you can see that. And uh, that is the entire mandible removed and reconstructed. And that is her in the post-op. And I gave her spirulina, RG and GL for six months and said, you take it home with you. Yes, doctor, we believe you. And she's on spirulina, RG and GL. Six months talk has been given, taken home on the flight back to Rwanda. Husband uh, uh, writes to me, very happy. She's very happy. Oh, very happy. Please come to Rwanda, visit us. That is what husband says. This is, this is a professional kabaddi player from uh, Pondicherry. Uh, you look at him, he has a fracture in his nose, a, above his nose. Actually, it's a fracture of the skull. He came to me saying, I want my nose shape changed. I said, no, your nose is okay. Your fracture is above your nose. Sir, I am not married. I am a very popular company player. Without any scar, I want this done. I said, yes, I do that. I'll do it for you. But you must listen to me. What? I want you to take spirulina for the next two or three years because you have no fat in your, in, under your skin. You are a company player. You will improve in every way. So he listened to me and that is why I put this picture up. And I will, but I will just share with you what I have done to him. That is cranial facial surgery. You open from inside the hair. Okay. And then you enter into the nose and correct it without showing any gory pictures. That is what was done. So there is no scar and you can see that fracture has been corrected above the nose. Thank you very much. That is him two months in November. He's already on spirulina. I can see, see his skin change. I can see his face change from spirulina. And look at him. He's happy. And that is a scar which is well hidden. That is cranial facial surgery's one approach. This is a lady from Seashells, again on spirulina or GNGL with an abdominal wall defect and an umbilicus is missing. She has a very puckered scar, many scars in her pubic area. There I have done an abdominal plasty, created a new umbilicus and she's also on spirulina or GNGL. This is a young IT officer from Delhi. Obesity is his problem. I said I will do your operation because you need liposuction and I have to do a massive liposuction on you. That is more than 5 liters of fat I will be removing on you. To, for you to have a very smooth post-operative period and a very good 
body contour post op and for the rest of your life you have to promise me to take something i tell you yes doctor i believe you i'll try it out and i put him on spirulina rg and gl but i will go through the operation first you can see the fat in his body fat in his lower abdomen fat in his left breast right breast and that is the liposuction done it's about 3 liters on each side that's close to 5 and 1/2 liters of fat which is massive uh, liposuction that is him in the post operative period i don't have a post op picture but he keeps by phoning me telling me he's fine come to delhi doctor he says come to delhi doctor that's his way of saying thanks <laughs> aesthetic surgery has extremely high satisfaction levels from these three or four patients i have shown you it needs a lot of expertise there is no role for complication because the patient walks in without a disease so you have to be absolutely sure of what you do and absolutely sure of what he will look post op otherwise you must not attempt or go into it but however there is always a drawback in aesthetic surgery the entire body is not addressed if there is fat i take off fat but i don't look after the whole body if there is tumor here i take off the tumor but today with dxn i am able to address the whole body with spirulina rg gl and all the dxn products it addresses every cell in the body so there is no comparison with what i do and what i there is no comparison with what i have done with my aesthetic surgery and what i do now with the addition of dxn products there is no need to say anything more aesthetic surgery is good but dxn when it addresses the whole body it becomes a divine a divine project this is my philosophy to life this is my last slide keep an open mind always to everything to everybody and everything look for and move towards divinity always